So something really scary happened today. Kiba was chewing on this and it splintered, as you can see, and he started choking. Thankfully, I was only, what, two paces away and I was able to go and help him out. And thankfully, I was able to dislodge what was stuck in his throat. No, you can't have it anymore. But in case you are unaware, there is a doggy Heimlich maneuver, which is really important to familiarize yourself with. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the next story. But it's also just a good reminder, never ever leave your dog unattended with anything that they can chew and potentially get stuck in their throats. <laughs> Come here. All right. Good girl. <clears throat> What's it? <laughs> <laughs> Like somebody I used to know. Cutie. Hi, come here. You may be surprised, but I only bathe my dog around three times a year. In between, I do what I'm doing today, which is just weekly maintenance brushing. I say weekly, it's been three weeks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just keeping it real. For the most part, I just use a wire comb because that does about 99% of the heavy fur lifting. In between, I can also use an undercoat rake, but I do still prefer the wire comb. It really does wonders. Thankfully, Kiba sits really well and he enjoys the process and he allows me to also gather up his fur and save it so that I can donate it to the baby birds.